How to read barometer readings. If you're curious about how to predict the weather using a barometer, you're in the right place. Let's break down the process step by step so you can become a pro at reading these handy devices. First, understand what a barometer does. It measures atmospheric pressure, which is a key indicator of weather changes. You'll usually see readings in inches of mercury, in Hg, or millibars Mb. For example, standard pressure at sea level is around 29.92 in her gram, or 1,013 millibades. To start reading your barometer, note the current pressure reading. This could be shown by a needle on an analog model or a digital display. High pressure, typically above 30.2 in her, usually indicates fair weather, while low pressure below 29.88 in her suggests stormy conditions. Next, observe the trend in the pressure readings. This is where the magic happens. If the pressure is rising, it generally means improving weather conditions. Think clear skies and calm seas. On the other hand, falling pressure indicates worsening weather, like an approaching storm or rain. Here's a simple way to remember it. Rising pressure, good weather ahead. Falling pressure, stormy weather approaching. Steady pressure, stable weather conditions. For more precise predictions, check the rate of change. A rapid drop in pressure often precedes severe weather, like thunderstorms or hurricanes, while a gradual decrease might signal light rain or overcast skies. If you're using your barometer on a boat or at a higher elevation, remember to adjust the readings accordingly. Barometers are calibrated for sea level pressure, so you'll need to account for the difference if you're not at sea level. To get the most out of your barometer, monitor it regularly throughout the day. Take readings at the same times each day, like 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., and log them to track changes over time. There are two common types of barometers, mercury and aneroid. Mercury barometers use a glass tube filled with mercury, but they're less common now due to safety concerns. Aneroid barometers, invented by Lucian Vidi in 1844, use a flexible metal box that expands or shrinks with pressure changes moving a needle on the dial. When using an aneroid barometer, you might see two needles, one for the current pressure and another movable pointer. Align the movable pointer with the current pressure needle to track changes easily. Digital barometers are also available and often come as part of a weather station. They automatically adjust to the current pressure and may show graphs of previous readings, making it easier to see trends. In summary, reading a barometer is all about understanding the current pressure and its trend. By monitoring these changes, you can make informed decisions about your day, whether you're planning a boating trip or just want to know if it will rain tomorrow. So next time you see a barometer, take a moment to read it. You might just become your own mini-meteorologist.